Okay, I've screwed it up twice now. Let's see if I can do this the third time and maybe it'll be a charm. Okay, I'm setting the compass zone adjustment for your 2005 Ford F-150. Okay, got the owner's manual out and if you don't have yours, you can go by this. The one thing you have to know is your zone. Mine happens to be six and it's in this zone right here. Okay, got to know the zone. And you also need to be in a parking lot, big enough, empty parking lot where you can drive in circles. That'll be for our calibration adjustment. You don't have to do that for the zone adjustment, but we'll do the compass uh, calibration adjustment in just a second. Okay, you got to start the vehicle. Okay, press the odometer reset button for six seconds and release. And the word zone should appear. So there's our, on this particular model, it's, uh, there's your reset. So push that and hold it for six seconds and then release it. So let's see if I can get it this time. I did it. Great. I, what I was doing before, I was holding it too long and it was automatically going to the, um, it was automatically going to the uh, calibration adjustment. So, okay, I let it lapse there. So let's do it again. Six seconds and then release it. And then you'll want to enter, by enter I mean push the little button, the number of times that will match the zone you're in. For me, that'll be six. So here we go. I'm gonna do it again. So I can get back. Zone. So it's I'm already in six, but I'm gonna go through the motions anyway. Let's say you know you bought the vehicle in a different time zone, or I'm sorry, geodetic zone. So you gotta go through this. So here's say, say you were in 15. Let's so you just keep going one, two, three, four five, six. And that should be it right there. Should be all there is to it. That's for the zone. And as you can see, it's important to know the zone because these, these compasses will compensate for different areas of the country. But you've got to know the zone. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to that. <clears throat> okay, now for the calibration adjustment. All you're going to need to know on that is we're going to hold the uh, same button down, the reset button down, for eight seconds. And the word calibration will come up. And then we'll drive in circles. That's all there is to it. Okay, push the button and hold it for greater than eight seconds and the word C-A-L will come up. Right there. And all you gotta do now is drive in a circle slowly, five miles an hour. That's why you gotta have a nice open parking lot like this this is a CMV commercial motor vehicle uh, lot where the highway patrol has truckers pull over and weigh them so I got I got plenty of room make sure you have plenty of room and you drive until the word CAL goes away Okay, it, you only have to do drive three or four times and see the word CAL went away and now I'm in this facing southern direction and I would say that's very accurate. I'm going to give you a tip here that the book only remotely hints at, but I've known this for many years and uh, found it out accidentally. Let's go back to the to our owner's manual. 
when you go to start the, the, the calibration adjustment where you drive in circles, it does say right here, let me find it, perform this adjustment in an open area free from steel structures and high voltage power lines. That's very important. Don't, you can't be around any high voltage power lines, transmission lines. And then it goes on to say, for optimum calibration, turn off all electrical accessories, heating, air conditioning wipers, and make sure all vehicle doors are shut. Well, duh, of course. It's absolutely, it, they don't say it, but it's absolutely important, critical, that you have your headlights off. And the reason is, is because the load on the alternator puts out a, a heavy magnetic field and it will significantly adjust the calibration. They don't come out and tell you that. It just says to have all the electrical stuff off. Well, make absolutely sure your headlights off. And if you don't believe it, just take and buy a, uh, an add-on compass and just set it right here. And when your lights are off, look at it and see what it's reading and then turn your lights on. You'll see it, it'll go an eighth to a quarter of a way around. And so it's absolutely imperative that all the electrical be off, lights, stereo, air conditioning, everything, and don't be around any electrical power lines or tall buildings. That's why where I'm at is an absolutely perfect spot for it. Anyway, I, thought, I hope this helps someone out there. I looked on uh, YouTube and there wasn't one a video specific to my model, so I thought I'd make one in case somebody else out there has wondered about that and hope this helps you out. Hope y'all have a Merry Christmas.